the evaluation of the quarterbacks? The best I can tell you, it's, it's a great question, um, is just based on experience, you know, trying to, um, you know, compare and contrast based on uh, quarterbacks we've had in the past, what it's looked like, the decision-making process, trying to put them in as many game-like situations as possible. Um, you know, third down, red zone. Um, but to be honest with you, you really don't know until you get into a game. You don't. Um, you know, I was talking to CJ about it out there. He was at practice and, you know, that first Minnesota game, you know, what that was like and the ups and downs of that one. And a big part of it is getting your confidence. But I think you want to identify the things they do well and and then really emphasize those and then recognize what the areas that they need to be improved and, and try to make sure that we're addressing those and just try to get the guys better every day. Um, and over time, it seems to always kind of shake itself out. But we're in a day three, and, and there were some good things out there today. You know, I've been talking to our guys about making the routine plays routinely. With our players and, and the skill that we have, um, we don't need an extraordinary stuff. We need people to take care of the football. We need them to, you know, if the first read's there, take it. If not, work on to two, three, and then, and then have a plan from there. Um, make good decisions on a run game, take care of the football, and lead the offense. Um, you know, if you're going to turn the ball over, it's not going to go well here. Um, you know, and so we've got to take care of the ball, take care of the ball, but you also know we're going to be aggressive. And that's not just easy to see, a lot easier to say, well, take care of the football, but we also want to go score a bunch of touchdowns. So there's that, that balance that you have to find. And, um, you know, some guys can find that easier than others. We've been fortunate enough to, to find the guys that get a feel for that. Uh, it's probably a big part of the it factor that people talk about, you know, seeing the field and understanding situations. But um, the more game-like situations we can create, the more we get a feel for that, you know. And certainly taking care of the football uh, and making routine plays routinely is important. Quarterbacks you've had here from JT to Dwayne to Justin to CJ, how has your view of the quarterback position evolved yeah. in your time here? Or with the Ryan Day who showed up the first day you were here in 2017, Talk about what you need to do to be a successful quarterback the same way that you talk about it today. Probably. Probably. I think the game is changing. But to your point, I don't think that uh, what you look for in a quarterback really has. Um, you have to be able to, to do stuff with your feet. You have to be able to create a little bit um, you know, in and out of the pocket. Um, you have to at least be a threat in the run game. That has to be a part of what you do. Um, I think it's important to do that. But you also have to be able to throw the football in, in, in the pocket on third down in the red zone. Um, you know, be able to push the ball down the field and play action pass. So I think all those things are important on the field. And then the leadership part of it is critical. So no, I don't think that's changed. Um, but I do think the more you look at the quarterbacks who are making it in the NFL and at, at the highest level of college football, you know, they, they, they can move their feet. You know, they can create. They can extend plays. Um, just thinking about the playoffs and – in college, thinking about the playoffs and in the NFL, I mean, almost all those guys could do that. I think that's important. Um, but you know, I think we talked about that, you know, probably five, 10, 20 years ago. But I think more and more it's becoming part of the, the reality.